Summer. I'd like to introduce to you the only but good staff of KBRS. We've been asked to be here tonight to sort of help you celebrate your, your evening, and we appreciate it. We're going to play some music, we're going to have some door prizes. Got a little bit of trivia, too. Mr. Dale Forbes came, too. Hi, the old watermelon man. Remember that? A few years back? About 40 years back. Right now. It's not longer. This picture right here is from 73. This shows you how, how it used to be back then. Anyway, if you have something you want to hear, whatever, just come up and talk to us. We're going to play songs for each year. So let's get started. Check your uh, wristband. Don't forget there's a number a number on your wristband. And we're going to be drawing for door prizes and stuff here. So that's the numbers we're going to be using. From 1970, this is Rare Earth. We're going to give away a door prize. Everybody, can you hear? On your Everybody. band, you have a number on your wristband. And if you look at that number, we're going to have a, an oil change from Everett Chevrolet. And the number is 880. 880. We're not going to save these, so if you want it, you better get up here and get it. Or we'll wind up giving it to somebody else later on, okay? 880. Free oil change at Everett Chevrolet. 880. 880. Anybody? Well, we'll just set that one down and we'll give them a little bit. 1970, we got some trivia stuff we'll share with you. Vietnam was still going on in 1970, and remember back to the Kent State killings they had of the four students? That also occurred in 1970. They were protesting the war. And Apollo 13 was in April of 1970. You remember that incident? Yeah. Also, we had a, a gentleman that worked with us at KBRS for a while. He's here tonight. I want everybody to recognize Mr. John George, voice of the Razorbacks, right here. Johnny George! <laughs> How about Sir Rod Stewart? From 1971, this is Maggie. How many of you want to talk about what you were doing when that song was popular back in those days? <laughs> Probably not very many. <laughs> Everybody having a good time? Feel free on coming up and dancing, you know. You can dance. Nobody said you couldn't. Folks, you know, all changes are costing quite a bit. We're going to draw for another one. Look at your armband, the number. We got an old change in Everett Chevrolet for number 795. 795, old change. Anybody? 795. Going twice. 795. Well, if you, if you come up in the next five minutes, we'll give it to you anyway. And 880, we haven't had anybody come in and claim that. What happened in 1972? What do you remember from 1972? Not much. <laughs> Not much. I don't remember much. Go ahead. Tell us. Stephanie Perry. Stephanie Perry just won an oil change right there. Yay, Stephanie. How about Watergate? You remember that? Does anybody really care right now? <laughs> yeah, drink a little bit more and you don't care a whole lot, right? 72 is when Watergate uh, occurred. You know, that was the burglary at the Democratic National Headquarters. Who was president then? Richard Nixon was, but two years later he was gone. He was on. Yeah. I tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna give you about eight minutes and thirty-six seconds of a song that is American. John McLean wrote this song and he recorded it, put it out in 72, American Pie. Don McLean by 
Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Well, that puts us up to 1973. Coming really? Yeah. What happened in 73? Supposing you want to know, aren't you? I wish you would tell me. <laughs> 1973, to pull out of combat troops in Vietnam. The war still continued. Those of you, there's probably several of you here that served in Vietnam. I'd just like to say thank you for your service. Amen. It is appreciated. Amen. Uh, the war continued in April of 75. South Vietnam fell to North Vietnam. How about prices of food back in those days? Any idea? Well, I know prices were cheap. A lot cheap. A bunch cheap. How about a gallon of gas? You have any idea what that cost in the 70s? Uh, dollar 35. Well, no, it's about 57 cents. Oh, my God. I can remember, uh, I think it was like 65 cents. I used to fill up my old Pontiac GTO that I had. Yeah, I remember, I remember that car. Oh, man, I wish I had it now. Or I wish I knew where it was at. I tried to get it. You know, but I'm telling you. Anyway, 1973. How about, uh, what are you? how about some Deep Purple? You remember Deep Purple, the group? Smoke on the 1973, that's right. Smoke on the water. Smoke on the water. You know, there were some songs that we didn't play on the air. You know, the bass didn't work on the air. He said it was too acidy or too sounded too acid rock or whatever. Yeah, there was not a whole lot. There was one about uh, they're coming to take me away, ha ha. Well, that one got busted and thrown in the trash because uh, so many people complained about it. It was really about people with mental disease. Yeah. Once in a while you'd have songs like that, but what have you got now? Nothing. You know, it's not music now, that's for sure. And there was another one about uh, some bodies they found in one of our prisons. Bobby Darren had it out and they got the can too. People didn't like that. That's what the movie Brubaker was based on, the bloody one. Yeah. yeah. And one of my favorite songs that I played a lot was uh, uh, The Hombres Let It All Hang Out. Yeah, you bet you. And you know, we're radio guys, but we like to kind of pass on some TV shows that were popular in the 70s. Yeah. And I'm sure that you, you remember. How about All of the Family? That was one. Uh, MASH, Mary Tyler Moore, Happy Days, The Waltons, Kojak, and the original Hawaii Five-0. Of course, we can't forget Laverne and Shirley in Dallas. That was uh, big back in the 70s. Big, big, big. What were you doing in 1974? Big hit then was Steve Miller Band. Joker, let's hear it. Steve Miller Band, 74. They're still performing, I think, today, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. It's amazing how many bands uh, they've got a couple of new members here and there, but they're still out on the, on the concert tour. And, you know, you can see them in the Joy's or somewhere, you know, they're doing a show. Uh, and some of the old groups from uh, the, the late 50s and 60s, uh, they've just reorganized. And you might have, I, know, I saw the Platters in Branson, and they had one original member, and uh, he was blind. Really, but he just, he just, you know, he just collided. Well, they hit some yeah, great stuff. Unbelievable. My goodness. Well, you know, folks, we're going to have a little bit different deal. We're going to wait till the end of the, our procedure here, our show, and then we're going to give, we're going to give all these away. So be prepared to check your, uh, your armbands at the end of the show. Okay? Okay. Everybody having a good time? Let's have a better time. <laughs> How about the hustle? Van McCoy. He did Brown Eyed Girl too, didn't he? 1975. Do the hustle. 1975. Mm. Brings up what? 76? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Right. <laughs> 1976, I've got some uh, more trivia here. Israeli commandos rescue a plane load of the hijacked Israelis. 
uh, Israelis back in 1976. And I kind of remember that a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. And also the uh, USA bicentennial occurred. That was a big deal. That was a monster deal. I, I, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit there. Uh, I had been on a trip to Houston, Texas, and I came back and I'd been to the hospital. And uh, turned on the TV. And it was uh, August, I believe. And they came out and said Elvis had died. I don't think anybody uh, has forgotten where they were when they heard that Elvis Presley had died. It's 1977. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like, kind of like the John F. Kennedy assassination. Mm -hmm. Boy, well, we had a lot of things happen in the 70s. And sure did. We even had a, we even had a police officer in the Springfield Police Department assassinated. And John Tillman Hussey. Yeah. Hussey. I was working Springfield PD back then. Yeah, it happened. It was a terrible thing. Still, it's uh, the truth will never be known on all of it. No. The only one of the gang members that's still alive is uh, still uh, living down in the Cummins. Yeah. You know. Yeah. See the current picture of me looks like somebody's next door neighbor. You know, we had we had so many things that happened in Springdale uh, over the years. We had a bombing in one of our policemen. Yeah, that was uh, Lieutenant Carl Martin. Carl Martin, he's uh -huh. alive and well today. Yeah, but uh, someone took him out. They take him out. So they knew who did it, but they could never prove it. Wild world. Well, let's let's hear. Orleans, Orleans, however you want to say it. Still the one from 76. something for everybody. And, and I really, some of the best years of my life, I was working there. I really enjoyed it. Me too. I'm tickled to death to be here tonight. Kind of reminisce. Let's get some more dancers. What do you got? You want to go to another song? You want to tell me some history? Well, I tell you what, let's wait till we get to 79 and you know, I'll tell some more history. But how about... Idaho potatoes, 10 pounds, and selling back in the 70s for 98 cents. You know, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, so let's go to Margarita Ville. Oh, gotcha. That's the national anthem on beaches everywhere. I had forgotten that yeah. song, you know. We hadn't heard it in a long time. It's about the only hit he's had, but it made him $90 trillion. Woo. Another, we got another couple of dance. We got, folks, we've got a short time to be here, and then Dale and I are going to pack up and go. There's going to be lots of music. So let's fill this dance floor with the next couple of songs. How about that? Sounds good to me. Is there anything to add to this? Uh... No, not really. I think uh, I just have to say I'm having a good time listening to music, man. I just stuff I haven't heard in a long time. It's an honor to be here, folks. You betcha. Bridge back memory. I bet. I appreciate Jack Clark and all the guys asking us to come by. From 1978, How Deep Is Your Love? This is cool in the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
and that's uh, coming up 1979. We're going to do that for you here in just a moment. Little uh, fact for you. From 1979, U.S. diplomats and others were taken hostage in Tehran, Iran. And they were kept for 444 days. And I remember that uh, Ronald Reagan got elected president, and it was shortly after that they released him. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Now, Reagan came in. Correct. Correct. That has something to do with that release of it. I think they knew what was coming. <laughs> Folks, we're going we're gonna to have one of the greatest rock songs of all time. This will be our last song, and then we're going to give away door prizes. So come up here and dance to the village people, YMCA. You may want to holler out the door to the folks outside and tell them we're going to give away some stuff. Come on in. Yeah. everybody for putting up with us tonight and having us here. I know I've uh, had a great time visiting with Howard's first time we've seen each other in a long time. And uh, Jack and, and Elmer and David and you know a bunch of folks. We just really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it because we've enjoyed being here. You bet. There's going to be a lot of music left but uh, we're going to say goodnight and thank you for having us.